Hey guys, welcome back to All American Arts Workshop. Today I'm going to give you a first hand look at turning a pen. Not exactly that first hand, but um, it'll get a little busy that way. But yeah, we're going to make the most expensive pen that I've made yet today is a steampunk bolt action pen from Rockler with a thermochromatic blank that I turned, so it's going to turn color and heat. It's a red and black with the burl piece in there so it'd be pretty cool um, first time on the video on the channel make sure you uh, like and subscribe comment what you think and thanks for watching we'll get right into it all right so like I said making a steampunk bolt action pen it's got all your directions there what size bit you need what size mandrel um, all the parts that come with it it's from Rockler PSI woodworking so this is kind of what it looks like here in the bag. You got your tube that's going to drill out your blank and put that in. Spring, ink refill. Here's the front end assembly. Got the steampunk going on there. Here's the back with the steampunk look. Bolt action. And here's the blank I will be using. I casted this one with the burl, black and uh, red resin or pigments. And it's uh, thermochromatic pigments, so you hold it for long enough with your hand, it's going to start turn, turning lighter. Put it right next to the heater, it's going to turn white. But we'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. And I use this part of the blank here since I'll get half burl, half resin. So we'll start turning and uh, make sure you get your PPE on. I got my ISO, ISO Tune Pros in. I want to thank them for uh, sending me a pair to try out. Um, so far I like them a lot and uh, I used to have the, or I used to wear, I still have the Galaxy Buds um, wireless, but now they got the wireless too, the ISO, uh, ISO Tune Pro free wireless um so probably pretty much the same same um sound quality out of these pros as my galaxy buds i would say um i haven't really tried out the wireless range or anything too much but i will uh do a video on that and full review on them when i get into them a little bit more here but let's uh start turning this pen and i'll show you how to, how to do that All right, so I got this end already cut square. I'm just gonna put your tube up here. Leave a sixteenth on each side. Let's go ahead and mark that. So I'm gonna cut that. Directions here say drill a, a three eighths hole. So I'm gonna cut this, drill a hole through there, and then we'll get this glued in there. And then I'll come back and we'll get her turned. All right, so I got that drilled out, 3 ace hole. So it's gonna fit in there real nice. And I use some stick fast CA medium with the activator. I'm not gonna show you how I drill this out. I just used a drill press, um, just held on to it with my hands. There is a, uh, is clamps to hold on to blanks and drill them out in the drill press. You could use a vise, do it by hand, or you can do it on a lathe. I like to just hold on to it, um, drill it out with the drill press. I'm not going to show you that because the YouTube Safety Committee, also known as Yosha, um, they'll be after me, probably find me or something. But yeah, I'm going to get this glued up. I'm just going to use this piece of paper to drip on. Just cake that in there real good. Don't want to be stingy on this because you get your blanks uh, breaking on you. The tube will fall out or this also holds the blank together pretty good so get a nice amount on the tube and inside coated both sides. It's good to wear gloves for this. I like to risk it all though. So just push it in and out. Push it in there. Center it out. I like to use the cap to go back and forth. Get it where you want it in there. 
enough uh, on each side to sand off. And then we'll spray it with some activator. That'll harden the ends at least. Get it stuck in there. Then we're gonna put it on the heater, let it cure for an hour or two. The longer the better to wait on that, but I don't have patience like some. So I'll put that in the heater and then we'll come back, get it on the lathe. Um, I got my right bushings here, um, Victorian pen kit. I'll just need the end too, not the middle one, since it's just a, a one part pen. All right, so this has been drying for a while now. I got it all sanded down as well. Um, I don't have a 3 8 pen reamer, so I just used my bench top sander with my 90 degree fence. Um, that will be uh, good enough for that. Uh, a reamer definitely works better. Um, just don't have every size sometimes. Every pen kind of takes a different size and different size bushings and stuff, so. Um, start with buying everything that you're going to use for like slimline pens, the cheaper ones, and uh, start from there. You're going to definitely want to start practicing on like the cheaper slimline pens and pencils before you get up to a $40 kit like this steampunk kit was for the parts. So, And then a blank like this with a burl, probably you're going to pay 20 bucks for at least too. Um, thermochromatic, I don't really know. Uh, I haven't seen anybody selling them yet, but if you do want a blank, um, I make blanks. Get get at me at uh, All American Arts on Facebook. That's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. And uh, tell me what you want, and I can probably get one going for you if I don't already have it. But uh, we'll get right over to the lathe and uh, start turning some pens. All right, so we got her all on the lathe. Like I said, um, if you haven't turned a pen before, every uh, pen kit kind of takes a different size bushing. It gets the outside of the the pen the right diameter so it matches the the tip and the the mechanism of the the pen itself so it's flush to the touch um so yeah we'll get right into it here i'm going to be using a circle carbide handmade uh father-in-law is a machinist so he made this uh shaft i made the handle and uh yeah so we'll get turning this here i'll get it to sh uh to shape and then we'll sand her all down and wet polish her and go through all the steps here. So I gotta look, go a little bit more here. I still got a little bit of square edge there. All right, so that's it there. I'm just gonna hit this backside a little bit more. grid up to 600 I uh, found this wood river the mesh is definitely the best um, I got this pack as well it's kind of just been sitting over there getting all dusty might use it for something else eventually here but it it also is good for the the wood but the wood and acrylic the hybrids are and just acrylics definitely the mesh is a lot better so I like to use that I'm just gonna get rid of my here. Then we'll start running through these. Turn the speed down a little bit, go nice and easy. Just uh, tap the tap the mesh out every once in a while or blow it out. Uh, 
little scratch just from getting right back into your acrylic. You ain't gonna see it as much on the wood, but you see it on the acrylic, little scratches. So just focus on your edges, get them down to the bushing perfectly. Hit it really good with the 180. And then we'll start stepping up. Then I'll come back to you at the, the wet sanding. So I got you over here on the buffing wheel now. I'm just gonna use some novice number two fine scratch remover. You can see how already nice and polished that is just from the wet sanding up to 12,000, but this makes it even better. So I leave it right on the mandrel here. Stuff's a little clogged. We'll get it out of there. Put a nice amount onto that. We got two different style wheels here. One's a little softer. So I'll do this one here first and do the softer one second. All right, so now we can start assembly here. You can see, still see how clear that is. Nice and polished out. Got a little rag laid down here to put all my parts on so they don't get scratched. Make sure you put your bushings in the right bag right away, otherwise you get bushings laying all over the place and you don't know which pens kits are for. All right, so either end could be the front or the, the back. I'm gonna go like that here. So I'm gonna push the front nib in first here with the Dewalt clamp. Get that all the way tight up flush. Then we push the back in. Kind of line it up how you want the where you want the handle. Make sure you look at the directions. I've messed up a couple pens doing doing this without looking at the directions. Um, push the wrong part in somewhere. Some some pens are different sizes on the on the back of the pen versus the nib of the pen. So you push the nib into one and then it's not flush like this here. But you can kind of see how she's going to look now. So now I just unscrew the, the tip here. Put our ink in. That's also how you replace the ink. 
put the spring on, screw your tip on, and there you have it. Antique uh, bolt action steampunk thermal chromatic burl pen. So yeah, you can see it coming back to full color now. Well, um, I want to thank everybody that's subscribed to my channel. I'm almost at 4,000. Um, I'm going to say if you guys get me to 10,000 and everybody that comments on this video, I will give one of these pens away to one of you guys that like, share, and comment below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.